Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy, LC the one, baby. LC the one to be exact, that is. A-K-A, Illmatic one, two, four. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm-up jersey is right here on the back of my motherfucking chin dog. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang gang, my LC crew? What's going on out there in the land you live you did? But, hey, man, we got breaking news, man. Breaking news, man. As y'all can see from the title of the vid, man. Russell Razzle, my homie Razzle, Russ, uh, uh, Westbrook, and uh, CP3 have been in a, a three-deal, uh, three-team trade. So, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired as hell. But, yeah. I got the video right here. Stephen A. Smith and Andrew uh, Wojnarowski. They're going to report the information. So let's hurry up and get to it, man. For real, for real. Hold on, man. This is... Epic bid. Come on, let's get into it. Okay. So that's the video right there. Let's play it real quickly. You did. Cause I got to go my ass to bed. Yeah. I told you I may, di I may do something epic big. Only if it was something epic big, and this is epic big right here, you know, uh, Chris Paul and, and Russell Westbrook. Picks and a couple okay, of let's listen. For two other years, a week after Paul George leaves town, Westbrook goes to reunited with James Harden. Woo. Paul started his NBA Let me get the uh, uh, like uh, 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 transplanted Hornets. Tenth this for y'all, man. Of course, first with the news of this trade here with us on Sports Center to fill us in on what else is happening. Uh, well, it's from first making Russ available to making a deal seems to have happened really quickly. How did it all come together? Wow. Uh, very much by design, John. Oklahoma City, Russell Westbrook, they did not want this to linger. They were aggressive this week and searching out trade partners, Houston, Miami. Detroit showed some interest, but it was really a Houston-Miami derby. And yeah. earlier today, Houston, Oklahoma City came to terms on an agreement and this was done almost as that soon music as funky, ain't started. it, baby? Uh, in the bus a high flow. Russell, we the out the dope. Be a way Damn. The building project because we have all these number one picks now. Yeah. It seems the same might go for a 34-year-old Paul. Is, is there more to come here with CP3? I, I believe so, uh, John. I think the, the Thunder, Thunder agreed to trade with Chris Paul's Westbrook agent, to Rockets for Chris Paul. Sense. Uh, Paul, oh, three years like left on the contract, $124 million. $124 million Dang. left on Paul's contract. Woo. One year left. That boy got paid. That looks four for 171. That goes back to Houston. But, you know, they're trying here. They're, they're heading toward a rebuild. They saw the team this year. You know, that's competitive. In so now, City. Westbrook uh, and Harden, they team it back up again. Mess around and get Kevin Durant. Probably beginning and ending with <laughs> Miami uh, to see if there's a wow. deal that could possibly work with the Heat, see if they're willing to take on that money and, and whether they might want to draft pick with it to take on that kind of money. But they were interested in Westbrook. Houston beat them out for him. Now I think there could be uh, Whoa, a conversation right there. to be had between Oklahoma City and Miami. Otherwise, you know, Oklahoma City will, would start the season with Chris Paul. You know, he actually played there once before mm -hmm. when New Orleans, after Hurricane Katrina, played their season there. He's familiar with the market. But at this point in his career, Chris Paul wants to win. He wants to be with a contender. He doesn't have that with the Thunder. Somebody call Pat Riley. Uh, Woj, the off-season reshaping of the NBA continues. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, this pair are pretty fascinating on a number of levels over the past five seasons. They rank 1-2 in the NBA in a number of key categories. Harden first in points. Westbrook tops in the league in assists and usage rate. Two guys who love the ball in their hands. They used to play with each other. Mike Mitch and the camera. And who played some college basketball. Stephen A. Smith. And they was the MVP last season, not the one that Stevie. just passed. We know what he brings Stevie. to the people. And the relationship with him and Chris Paul wasn't ideal at the end. In the end, uh, you, know, you had two individuals that didn't seem to want to play with one another. Chris Paul clearly wanted out, even though he didn't want to say that publicly. Russell, it's sad. We do talk glad. Russell, to have a problem slashing. Tip-top layup right there. James Russ, inside, baby. Sweet from that side of the glass. CP3, step back, has no pain, bang, to do. Uh-oh. 
CP3. Watch out, it's sad. That's the thing of the crib. Razzle, dazzle. Yeah. Look at TP for the tree. The bad man is the tree. Look at Razzle, it's sad. Off the glad. Tweet dudes. Yeah. Razzle, it's sad. Step back. Bang, bang, bang. Razzle, it's sad again. Look at that. Up the other end with sweet dudes right there, baby. Look at that. Dazzle, Mezzle, Sonic, Big Rock. Bang, bang. Drop his ass off. Yeah. Not to mention a little bit younger as well. Yeah, I know the play by play. Take that into consideration, yeah. along with the fact that his relationship with James Harden is pretty close because they're former teammates in yeah. Oklahoma City, and then you consider what they still have in tow, whether it's a guy. What the? So what's going on with the video, bro? Oh, Lord Jesus. I have no problem with Houston making it whatsoever. I think from a talent perspective, it puts them right back in title contention picture. Right. My only question mark is whether or not Mike D'Antoni can coach them on that level. We know he can Ooh. win regular season games. We know he can win a couple of playoff series. But can he coach them the man in the manner that they need to be coached to get them over the hump? That's the lone question mark about the Houston Rockets after this deal. I see no other question marks to think of. Well, you take us right to our second question. How do they coexist on the court, particularly when both of them usually like to be the number one option, the guy who has the ball most of the time? Well, this is James yeah. Harden's team. And James Harden is a better perimeter shooter than, than Russell Westbrook. So you take that into consideration along with the six years of excellence that James Harden has registered. They just got a stronger point guard. And there is no question yeah. that Russell Westbrook is coming to James Harden's team. In the Bill Cosby beard, look at that boy. Yeah. Be look at James Harden. It's sad, baby. Off the glass. Two for that right there. Boys. They're pretty yep. tight. Razzle, it's sad. Shot the head of him. Oh, it's, oh my lord, Jesus. Yeah. But that bought his ass over. Not like LBJ. Him, but in Houston, Look at uh, uh, James Hart step so back. Bang, 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 bang. His system predicts that, you know, predicates yeah. you being able to hit for first and shot, second and making usage. sure you push the ball up the floor. Oh, and power service and shit. Even willing to sacrifice some defensive possessions. From it's always something crazy going on when I'm doing a video. Until Mifertita, he's not going to uh, uh, tolerate much. That's why Chris Paul is gone, because this man has expectations. He wants to win the championship, and he knew that getting this move was going to get them closer to that. In the case of Chris Paul, that wasn't going to happen. That's why he's gone. Russell Westbrook is there. They're back in title contention. But I don't think there's any question about their offense, and I don't think there's any question about their talent. The question now is whether Mike D'Antoni, who's a pretty damn good coach, can get them over the hump, That's which right. is something he wasn't able to do in Phoenix, New York, L.A., and thus far. They might get rid of Mike, Mike D'Antoni. Shit. Stephen A. Smith. They might be getting his ass back right there. On the TV Friday. Thanks for joining us. You know it. Can a brother get a dynamic duel? Yes, apparently we got a month full. June okay. 15th. And okay, man. So I guess that was it for what they had to say about that, man. But, man, and the, pff, hey. Like I said, man, the NBA is unbelievable, man. It's shaping up to be the most entertaining sport in the world. And without a doubt, man, you know, it is. So, yeah, I love it, man. I love I love what's going on, man. Just keep everything interesting. And then the game is outstanding. It's the best basketball. Did y'all see my All-Star game? Look at the video. Look at the video. that I'm not afraid. That's going to be one of the videos in the link, you know, for the, uh, the out ending of the video. But yeah, man, that was inc that's incredible. CP3, this would be his what his third team. He's in Charlotte, New Orleans, Houston, now fourth team, okay. And Westbrook, this is his first uh, trade. So yeah, this is a big change up. You dig what I'm talking about? OKC, clear house. They got a lot of picks. They did pretty good, so they just rebuilding stuff, which makes sense like a mother. You dig what I'm talking about? And then the flip side of that, you know. They're going to be terrible, pretty much. So they're not, they not contenders or nothing right now, so they're terrible, okay? Everything went this way, doo-doo. But anyway, man, uh, well, they got Chris Paul. They got Chris Paul, so they probably build around him, no telling. Chris Paul wants to be in that type of situation anyway, you know, to lead a team again, lead a team again by himself. Like I said, he needs the ball in his hand, and that's what, that's what happened. He didn't get the ball in his hand. You know, and that's why they, they didn't go for it. You know, they didn't propel all the way up into the heavens of the basketball gods and stuff. You dig what I'm talking about? But, yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles. And I don't want to point the finger at Dan Tony, but we are. Because, hey, man, he should have hit, he should have had the rock in his hand and not James Harden. That's why they're in that predicament. And that's why they started complaining 
and arguing with each other and stuff. You know, and that's the situation. They figured out they that they, they weren't going to. They weren't going to be a good match together. And sometimes they be like that, man. You know, and I'm pretty sure they they, they going to be cool and stuff after this. But they just couldn't play together, man, because, you know, they was like the odd couple. You dig what I'm talking about? Uh, he wanted this and the other one that. But knowing that he's supposed to be the person controlling the ship because he's the general. And that's it. And that's all. Okay? But, yeah. Breaking news. Y'all seen it right there. Adrian Wojnarowski and Stephen A. Smith reported, man, James Harden. And CP3, I mean, uh, Westbrook and CP3 have been in a trade swap. So they own each other's teams now. And this is going to be something else, boy. But, but, oh, my God, James Harden and what? Oh, my, they got a championship team. Okay, but we can get up out of here. Hey, this is your boy, LC the One, baby. LC the One to be exact, that is. A-K-A, Illmatic One, two, four. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number when I was in high school. And my warm-up jersey is right there on the back of my motherfucking chair. Like I always tell me, keep it pimping and the voice slipping. Because they will get your motherfucking ass if you slip on that motherfucking banana pill. You think what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, church and remember, God, we're going to fully shout out to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew. I need y'all to like this video. Share this video. <laughs> Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notification bell button on. Ding! To get more exclusive dope content from a pimp play against us. All about mine, baby. And like I always say, church remember, God, we're going in a five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Church now, hey, man. And also, man, grab some of my merch, man. This is the old generation right here. We're in the second gen right now. So if y'all want to support me, man, grab some of my merch, man. Y'all see the link in the description below. You dig what I'm talking about, man? It'll help tremendously. And I can upgrade it, get more stuff and all that. Yeah, but hey man, I'm gonna holler at y'all later, man. Church, you know.